salt and pepper. Shelves full of salt and pepper shakers. I got over 15,000. 15,000 salt and pepper shakers. Holy Bible. I think these are Elvis's boots. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. We got toasters. We've got a little bit of everything. The toast is the salt. Uh Uh-huh. And the toaster, the pepper. Well, we're running out of room. We're going to have to quit. Salt and pepper from floor to ceiling. I got two rooms on the other side over there. There's two more rooms full. Row after row. What a display. And in this little backyard house, you'll even find an outhouse. Most anything you want to mention, we've got it. Shelby and her husband have traveled far. It's a car with a camper behind it. They search for salt and pepper shakers at yard sales and flea markets. And I've got them from every state. I've got them from Greece, Hawaii. I've got quite a few in Japan. The set that started it all is this one. First set that me and my husband together bought. On their honeymoon. 1960. They both grew up in Mount Airy. And she lived on this hill and I lived on the other hill. <laughs> <laughs> they were made for each other. Oh, and there's nothing like home sweet home. Oh, we love it. We're good. We got a few roughnecks down the road, but... (laughs) Roughnecks? Ah, just pepper them with politeness. Piece of cake. A carton of milk and a cookie to go with it. You can get hungry in here. It's made into a hamburger. How about some ketchup? Green pepper. But there's not pepper in the pepper. Salt. Here lies pepper. I couldn't imagine it being this many different kinds, you know. But they love them. I love Lucy. Oh, I love that TV show. It's a classic in black and white. It'll really surprise you when you get out hunting, what you can find.